What is HTML? Well, to answer that, I'm going to have you open your browser. I'm opening Brave, but you can open pretty much any browser you like. This is going to work for any of them. I'm going to have you right click and inspect. And now what is showing up here, that is HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, which basically means it is marking up everything that you see on a web page. And if we go to a little known site called Wikipedia, it's actually the best example of HTML. Wikipedia, you let's go to English. And here you can see there's just a bunch of links to other pages. In the top here, we see the URL, Wikipedia main page. Great. And this main page we see on our right side here, which I made you inspect if you still have it open. Uh, if not, just right click on the page and go to inspect. Sorry for the Norwegian on my browser here, but it's going to be inspect in English. And this works in any browser, Chrome, Firefox, Edge. Uh, I'm using Brave. And what you will see is the entire HTML document. If you hover if you click on elements here, you don't need to worry about the other buttons here. But if you go on elements and you might have to like drag this down uh, here, you basically see all the content on this Wikipedia page. And you might notice that at the top here, there's a grayed out uh, line. This is a line of HTML code that says doc type HTML, which means that this type of document has been defined in this line as an HTML document. And that means that browsers, which are mostly the kind of the software that uses HTML, HTML is usually made for a browser to interpret. Browsers then know how to read this HTML page because you have defined it on this first line. This is how we basically tell a browser, any browser, that what you're going to be reading, it's going to be HTML. And I want you to display this document as HTML is defined. So what does that mean? Well, if we go uh, down a step to the second line here, and you can notice that uh, the whole page kind of lights up in blue on the left side. This is our HTML page. Everything that we see inside of this page here is inside of this HTML um, document. So I can, I'm just gonna, you can uh, click on these little arrows here to kind of um, expand and, and uh, collapse the different elements here. We're gonna get into what that is later. But basically, this is the entire HTML document between this line here, HTML, and this closing HTML line here. The whole web page exists between these two lines of HTML. So how do you go from two lines of HTML to, you see here, it's like Megan Trainer. <laughs> you see uh, articles, you see a Wikipedia logo up here, you see a search bar. How do you go from HTML lines to all these different functions and texts and links and images? This is the genius of how code is written. You have something called nesting which means that inside of this HTML, between the opening bracket here of HTML and the closing bracket here, which is a, a smaller than slash, you have these two things, a head and a body. So these, this head and this body line here, they're living inside of the other HTML elements. And inside of these elements, again, if we open the head, you see that there's a bunch of other things that lives inside that one. And you can open that like quite far and you get some complicated code here, which you don't have to um, like care about now. But basically, that's how you get all the different elements that we call uh, like images, like headers, like paragraphs. All of these different things live, and I'm going to show you here. Look, 
This is our main. So you see that uh, this blue uh, line in the center here, that's what lights up. And then the green and the orange colors are kind of the outside of this element that we call. And then if we go further in it, you see that different things kind of light up and get kind of activated when you hover over different elements. So all of these things, all of these things are HTML elements. And in essence, that is what HTML is. When we click, I'm going to show you here, you can highlight this welcome to Wikipedia or any other link that you see on any other page. You can inspect that and you get directly in this inspect panel here, you get shown exactly this line. And here you have something called an A element, which is basically a link element. This is the essence of HTML. When we click this link, I'm going to click it here, we get to another page. And if I hover over another uh, link, I get another link and you see there's a bunch of links here connecting together. And this is the core of why HTML is very powerful as marking up, aka creating web pages. Because you can't only create the single page that you are on, like a book. You can actually reference other pages every, on every single page and you can do it as much as you want. So together, HTML, although it might look complicated now, is actually a very simple language. It has a certain uh, number of elements that you need to kind of know. But other than that, it's very simple, but it has an extremely powerful reach because it's linking to all other HTML pages. Short answer is, what is HTML? It's a code language. It describes the elements on a web page. Uh, that web page is then, and that file, HTML file, is then read by a browser like Brave, like Chrome, like Internet Explorer or Edge. And through them reading this HTML, they basically display it for you in the way that we have predefined that browsers do. If you've ever hit by mistake Control S on any open tab you have in a, in a browser, you will see that it starts saving the web page. Here it says in Norwegian, uh, the website, uh, the full website. And you can choose to just save it in HTML. Let's save that and see how that actually looks like because this is HTML. It is simply a file. So we're going to show that. And now I'm going to open it in my code editor, Visual Studio Code, for you to see. Yeah. And here we see exactly the same code that we saw when we were inspecting in our browser because that's essentially what an HTML file looks like. It's a bunch of lines of code describing to the browser, hey, I want a header here, I want a paragraph here, I want an image here, display it for me. So that is what HTML is. If you would like to learn more about how to write HTML yourself and where, then I welcome you to watch the next video in this playlist, which is an HTML course. My name is Admir, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time we see each other, have a good one.